Sad, and I felt like ending that gig and then being like, Who wants to hear bad habits? Would, um, <laughs> it felt a bit weird, you know. So, this is, the, this, is the, this is the time in the gig where we'll stand up, we'll have a good time, and we'll sing all the songs that you know. And then after this bit, I'm gonna go off stage for like 15 minutes and I'm gonna come back and it'll be a, it'll be a different show, it'll be like a theatre show, it'll be chill, and you'll get to hear the new record for the first time. Basically.
In New York, this is my first proper show in New York in about five years. Yeah! And I haven't played a theatre like this in New York since uh, January 2013, so a decade ago was the last time yeah! I played a theatre. And um, I've got to say, I love being back playing these rooms, it's so lovely. Yeah!
I don't know if some people were coming in late or whatever, but if, if anyone's just joined, I'm doing the opening act slot tonight for the gig. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this. I lo I'm loving being back in America. I'm loving being back in New York. <laughs> New York seems to have, have this like weird rule for my body that like I don't follow when I'm back home. Because if I have more than one coffee back home, I get the jitters. But in New York, it's just kind of like, yeah, cool. I like my seventh coffee of the day. That sounds like a great idea. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, I'm loving it. It's such it's such a wonderful city, and it, re it reminds me so much of London, where I live. But it just has a different. It just is, there's a different energy about it, and I'm just super excited to be. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna keep playing these songs. Uh, this is the point in the show where we're gonna have like the good time, and we're gonna sing, and we're gonna dance. When it when it comes to me playing Subtract and Fool, it's a very sad album. So like, get all the. Um, <laughs> Get all the, the dancing and joy out now, and we will get into the, um, the, the deeper stuff later. <laughs> <laughs>
many kisses That's some scars upon a tiny kisses Broken heart So how am I doing as an opening act? Yeah. Full house as well, you guys came early, this is good. Yeah. I'm glad you guys came early because when I was when I was looking at the clock and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going on soon, if it's a half empty room, it's going to be awkward. And then <laughs> part of me was like, that, that, that's actually going to be quite awesome. I quite enjoyed the buzz of like seeing people walking in being like, oh, fuck, it started. <laughs> It hasn't actually started yet. It was, it was always going to start later. I just thought it'd be quite fun to, to do this. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet When your mouth still remember the taste of my love When your eyes still smile from your cheeks Well, darling, I will Loving you till we're 17. Baby, my heart could still be like heart at 23. Well, I'm thinking about how people fall in love in the steel's ways. And baby, just a touch of my
So tonight's quite a cool night because um, uh, like this this album that I've made sort of documented quite a like dark period of my life and I've lived with the album for the last year and it's been it's been my record and it's been my thing and I you know what I find with my songs sometimes is when I put my songs out they cease becoming mine they, be, they belong to you guys which I think is the coolest thing about releasing music is the connection of the song completely changes so a song like Perfect for instance is a song uh, but you know no one in this room listens to that song and goes that's about Ed's wife. They listen to that song and they go, well, this relates to this part of my life and I fell in love to this song and I got married to this song and I had my first kiss to this song. And it, those stories belong to you. And what's going to be interesting about tonight, playing some tracks for the first time, is that these are all my stories that belong to me and tonight is the first time that they're actually just going to belong to you guys and it's going to be a real... Uh, it's going to be a real freeing experience because... You know, they they have their own stories and meanings for me, but I really hope that when I'm playing you the album tonight, you find your own stories and meanings, and that is the reason why I like releasing music. I love writing music because it makes me feel happy, but I find releasing music sometimes a bit daunting because you're basically going, oh, I've put everything into this, I hope people like it, and then you put it out, and if people connect to it, that's the best thing. It's the loveliest thing, standing at these gigs, playing these songs that, you know, I, I wrote the A-Team in my bedroom when I was 18 years old and I'm still playing it 15 years later. People are still connecting to it. So, um, yeah, I'm so, I thought I'd do the, this bit of the gig as the hit bit so everyone can be like, cool, we, we, we heard the songs, but it's, it's more just kind of reminding people as well that, like, uh, you know, these, these, these songs all started out like the songs I'm going to play later. Like, I, I remember playing... Shivers for the first time in, I was in Paris and I was playing at this massive gig at the uh, Eiffel Tower and I opened with it and I'd, it hadn't come out and I played it and everyone was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I didn't pay to come and see this. But now, years on, you know, it's a, it's a song, that, song that people know. So I, it's, it's, it's interesting playing this album later because hopefully in a year's time you look back at this and be like, Oh my god, this song that, you know, is, has now been in my life and I've connected with for all this time. I heard it for the first time in, in Brooklyn that night. But this is a song I wrote in a basement and uh, I've, I've got to be honest, it wasn't, it wasn't the high point of my day. It was just one of these things that just happened. I was just, I was in a studio and I had an hour to kill and I wrote this song and I was like, cool. And I moved on with my life. And then I released it and uh, it goes like this. I found a love for me Darling, just die right Follow my lead Well, I found a girl Beautiful and sweet Well, I never knew you were the someone waiting for me Hold my hand, be my girl, I'll be your man 
So thanks for coming out tonight, uh, and thank you for, for those of you that have joined late. Again, this is the opening act bit. Um, and I'm not going to tell you how to enjoy this, the gig, the, 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 next, the next bit. But it's super quiet and super relaxed, so if you do want to sit and chill, that is probably better because your, your feet will get tired and it's not, there's not a lot of dancing. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, I hope you like it. I've, I've really poured my heart and soul into it and I'm, I'm really excited to play it tonight. Thank you for being here for the, uh, for the debut of it. And um, yeah, you guys having fun? I promise you, in an hour, you won't be saying that. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. It's good to be back. I, always, I, feel, I feel loved. This is great. Thank you. Yeah! Right, I'm going to play one more song. This is, this is your opportunity to dance. As I said, the, get, the, the album is melancholic, and, uh, and this is a dancing song. So I'm going to go off after this for 10 minutes, so chill, do whatever you need to do, have a piss, like all that sort of stuff. <laughs> I'll see you in 10 minutes after this. Do my best. 